everyone. So today I have a uh, tutorial for you all on the look that I'm wearing right now. It's kind of a uh, vampy take on a pin-up look, so it's kind of got that classic kind of warm defined crease with the liquid line and also uh, like a, a statement lip kind of. Uh, that said, you can change up this darker, more berry tone for a um, for a dark red or an orange red, depending on what you prefer. So yeah, I'm um I'm really happy with how uh, how the look has turned out, and uh, I really love these lips. I um I've been really liking this kind of wine color um, lately. I feel like it's going really well with my darker hair color, and it's coming into winter now. So these are really great kind of fall and winter colors that you can um that you can use to kind of uh, change up your makeup or change up uh, your clothing options. So yeah, uh, this is the look that I've got for you all today and uh, if you want to see the tutorial, keep watching. Okay, so first of all I'm going to take my By Terry Hyaluronic Primer and I'm just going to blend that in with fingers. And for foundation I'm going to use my Dior Star Foundation. I love this foundation because it blends in really, really nicely and it stays put all day. I'm just going to blend that with the Beauty Blender. And for concealer, I'm just going to use my MAC Full Coverage Foundation, uh, just with the Beauty Blender just on the pointed end. Just under the eyes. This is a really quick and easy way of doing concealer as well. And around the nose. I get a lot of redness around my nose, but you can skip this step if you don't. and just around my mouth and chin. And just on any blemishes that you might have. But that Dior Star Foundation is really, really, really full coverage, so you don't really need it a lot. I did just pluck my eyebrows though, so I've got some redness. <laughs> and then, as usual, I'm going to take my By Terry Hyaluronic Powder uh, just on my MAC 138 brush and just set my foundation. Okay, for blush I am going to take uh, Hourglass Luminous Flush uh, just on my MAC 116 brush and just give that a bit of a pop on the on the cheeks. Now for eyebrows, I'm just going to use my Kevin Aquan uh, pencil, brow pencil. I'm just going to brush my brows up to begin with. And I'm just going to use the uh, pencil just to fill in any sparse areas. I'm growing my brows out at the moment so I don't have a lot of, um, a lot of really sparse spots, but the tail of my brow always needs filling. Okay, and I'm just going to use Benefit's Gimme Brow uh, just to kind of, I don't know, polish them off a little bit, hold them in place as well. And on my eyelids I'm just going to take some NARS Pro Prime and just use that as a primer. And I'm just going to take MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just use that all over the lid as well. And this kind of just evens out the skin tone and also uh, provides a really nice kind of matte satiny base. So just a really nice thin layer. I'm just going to take this colour uh, in the Nick of Time duo from Bare Minerals, just the light colour, and I'm going to use that as my lid colour. So I'm just taking that on a MAC 227 brush and just patting that all over. That really gives a nice bright look to the lid. So 
So in the crease, I'm just going to take MAC Soft Brown on a 217 brush. And I'm just going to use that as my transition colour. So just kind of blending into the crease here. And just above it as well. To kind of give a nice transition uh, to the darker shades that we're going to use. Because it will be quite a defined crease once we're done. And just taking a bit of that under the eye as well and just connecting it up okay and then uh, from that same the nick of time uh, duo from bare minerals we're going to take the uh, darker color this one here and just pop that kind of uh, more so into the crease, not blended quite as high up. And just a little bit on the outer lid here as well. And then taking a pencil brush from MAC, uh, the 219, I'm going to take this darker colour from uh, the Epiphany duo from Bare Minerals and I'm just going to pop that very quite defined through the crease. Just to add that little bit more depth. And taking that 217 brush uh, that I've just wiped off on a, um, on a towel, I'm just going to kind of soften that a little bit. Just so it's not a really harsh line. Okay, and taking a little more soft brown and just kind of blending that into the crease again just to make sure that it's nice and diffused. And just on that same pencil brush I'm just going to take some of that same uh, colour from the Epiphany duo. I'm just going to use that just under the bottom lash line, just on the outer corner. And then I'll blend that out with a little bit more soft brown. And just on an angle brush, this one's from Inglot, I'm just going to take some MAC Black Track Fluid Line and I'm going to use this to line my upper, la my upper lash line. Now please forgive me, it has been forever since I've done gel liner, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. turned out alright, sort of. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a q-tip and I'm just going to clean up that line coming from the bottom lash line.
feel like I want to take a little bit of the sparkles from the Epiphany, so this colour, on a Inglot Flat Shader Brush. We'll put a tiny little bit of that just underneath here. Just on the lower lash line. And just a tiny little bit of that just patted into the centre of the lid. And a little bit just towards the outer part of the eye as well, just into that outer corner. So that way the inner part of the eye is still really, really bright, whereas the, um, the outer part is just a little bit more defined. I'm actually going to clean off that brush as well, and just take some of that creamy colour from the first duo out of the nick of time, and I'm just going to pop that just under my brow bone. And I'll also take that colour and uh, highlight the inner corner of my eye as well. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply uh, my Dior It Lash Mascara and my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And um, then I'll be back to do my lips. And while I was doing that, I actually forgot that I'm going to uh, need to tight line my upper lash line. So I'm just going to use my Hourglass Mechanical Gel Pencil. And just kind of get it in between the lashes so it's a really nice kind of solid black up the top there. There we go. And for the lips, I'm going to use Hourglass Empress uh, Longwear Liquid Lipstick. This is an awesome kind of berry burgundy shade. Really, really nice. It's a really nice take on like the dark red lip. This colour is so awesome and I really like the applicator because you really don't need to use a lip brush or a lip pencil with this, it's really nice and smooth. Now that I've got that lip colour on I kind of want to go through and just take a little bit more of uh, this shade from the Nick of Time duo and just um, Kind of blend it to kind of make it a little bit more of that kind of cooler purpley wine colour. So just a little bit under the eye. There we go. You can change this lip up for um, icon in the liquid lipsticks and that would be more of a classic pinup look but I'm really happy with this. And that's it. That's the whole look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I adore this lip colour. As soon as I put it on, I was just like, oh my god, I'm so excited. And uh, it just happened to be a um, happy coincidence that I'm wearing a sweater that's around about the same colour. But yeah, I'm happy with how it's turned out. It's um, It's been a really long time since I've actually done gel eyeliner. And uh, for the most part, I'm really happy with it. But um, yeah. I hope you guys like the look. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, please feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, I'm about to film some of my uh, makeup inventory and uh, my declutter videos as well. Um, I've, got, I've got a lot to do and today's my day off so might as well get it done. So yeah, I, um, I hope you guys liked it and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.